Hello everybody, my name is Jason and I work for Ardento. Today I'm going to be showing you how to call a deluge function from within another deluge function within the Zoho CRM in just one line. So for this demonstration, what is going to happen is we're going to create a button that is going to call another deluge function to fetch an email address from a contact record and fill in this field here on the accounts record with the email of the primary contact here, which I have open. So you can see the email here, and we're simply going to make it get placed in this field, and we're going to use a separate function to actually fetch the email itself. So the first step is to actually set up the function that is going to get called. So we're going to go to settings up in the top right, go to functions, going to go new function. Category for this one is going to be standalone, so we can return the email address. And we're going to call the function ard get contact email and this function is going to be very simple we're going to give it an argument of a string which is going to be the contact id and we're going to pass that in when we call this function later okay and first we're just going to set up a quick try catch around this And if it falls in here, we're just going to return a simple uh, return a simple error. So our first step is to get the contact record itself. I'm going to say contact equals Zoho dot CRM dot get record by ID. I'm calling the contacts record, and we're going to pass through that contact ID that we set up in the parameters. Then simply we're going to say contact email, and we're going to grab. The, con the email out of this contact record that we just fetched and then we're simply going to return the contact email right after and now I'm going to show you how to call this function so again we go to the settings up in the top right we go to modules and fields I'm going to go to our accounts record links and buttons I'm going to create a new button here so get contact email We've got this on the details page, writing function, I'm going to call it ARD, update, contact, email, so again, a quick little try catch around everything just in case, and simply return a simple error. And so we're going to edit the arguments and we're going to have account ID in the param value, simply do hashtag and then we can click on the drop down and pass through the account ID of the record the button is being clicked on. And so we're going to say account equals Soho dot CRM dot get record by ID on the accounts record passing through that account ID that will automatically get passed through when you click the button. Then we're going to grab the contact lookup from there. Just quickly going to make sure that it's not null. So if it is null, then we're going to return an error. As if there's no contact in the lookup field, then there's no point continuing. There is a contact though, we're going to grab the contact ID. So go contact lookup dot get get JSON and grab the ID just like that, or lowercase for ID. Then the next step, this is where we're actually going to call our other function. So I'm going to say contact email equals standalone dot and then from here. If you go look at your function that you created, get contact email. If we go into it, this little bit up here, which is what you name it at the start, if you just grab that, so you do standalone dot and then the name of your function there, that is going to tell it to call this function within the same CRM instance. Then we've got to pass through the parameter of contact ID, which is simply going to pass it through in the brackets, just like 
calling another function in say .NET. And then what this line is doing is it's calling a standalone function and it's calling the function we specify here with the parameter here. So this is effectively going to call this function here, which is going to return the email from the contact into this variable here, which we are then going to use. So first, we're going to confirm it is actually returned an email. So we're going to say if contact email dot not contains, I'm going to do the at symbol. So all emails should have that in it. So if it doesn't contain it, then we're going to return contact email because most likely it's hit an error at this point. And the error, if you remember, we simply return an error code with the error information. So that's going to return that error there. Otherwise, we're then just simply going to go update our account record with the email. So we're going to make a map for that. Simply going to put the contact email here as the contact email that we got returned from the other function. So we're going to update the accounts record. And again, we can use that same account ID from earlier. And the map is going to be the update account map here. And then we're simply just going to return a success message. Contact email was updated successfully. There we go. So we're going to save this. Save. And we're going to go to our accounts. The record I showed you earlier. There's no primary contact email right now. I'm going to go up in the top right here. I'm going to click get contact email, the button we just created. Contact email was updated successfully. Close this. It'll do a little refresh. And there we go. The primary contact email is filled in, which is based off this contact here, which if I open it, you can see matches the email from the contact. So there we go. So a couple of things to note, if you remember, I specifically specified a standalone function. So you can specify other function types. So if you click on new function, you go down the category, you see there's a bunch. So if it was a button, you do button dot instead, schedule, you do schedule dot. It just depends on the type of function that you're calling. Another way of actually calling a function is by just using the API to call it. Um, generally, you're only going to want to use this if, for example, you're calling the function externally, like maybe from a deluge function within billings and you need to call a CRM function. You'd use this other method where on your function, you'd go down and click the REST API. And you'd enable this API key here. Click copy and that's your re URL to send the request to. And then your parameters in the function you just pass through as URL parameters um, and you just have to make sure you get the parameter name matching what you have in the function. So there you go everyone, that is how you call a function from within CRM in just one line. I hope this was helpful and thank you very much for watching. Bye.